I always think it's quite a good way to to get yourself to write music is to have something else that you really should be doing. Um, procrastination can often be the best uh, inspiration. So. Do you need to check the audio, or are you kind of you grounded for that? Just there. Yes. began for me um, because I the estate that I lived in in Shankill when I, where I grew up about the age of 11 or so uh, one of my neighbours at Christmas he was getting a guitar and my other neighbour Craig was getting a drum set so I was told to get a bass so as we could have a band and um, so I just kind of was like okay yeah I'll get a bass 
not didn't really know what bass was and um got a bass at christmas um my mother got me one thankfully it was a like a samic uh sort of like fender precision copy that a lot of people had at that yeah. at that period and uh you know a fine instrument and so I started out playing bass and I used to, I got guitar, I got bass lessons off a guy called Garvin Gallagher for a while, mm. who is kind of a session player around, he's a really great musician. And so he kind of um, used to teach me, like I'd choose a song and he'd come over to my house and shoot and like show me how to play it. And so did a lot of like, um, learned some like flea bass lines, some like Chili Pepper songs, some I think I learned a, learned a feeder song, learned um, uh, some Green Day songs, learned uh, Longview, some Jimi Hendrix, some of the stuff like that. And he was very tolerant with my poor choices, my youthful uh, misguidedness. And uh, he would like show me these whatever songs, although, you know, all those bands, pretty decent bands, except maybe feeder. <laughs> and um, big Hendrix fan, what can I say? Uh, but so he would show me the songs and then I'd kind of like learn them like that and then yeah kind of just yeah started from bass and then I guess kind of uh, bass wasn't great to play alone and that band never happened and so it was kind of just uh, there was a guitar in the house my mum had like a nylon string guitar and I would just mess around on that and then eventually kind of got to where I could sort of do bits of songs and I think I learned like a bunch of white stripe songs on the guitar that was what got me kind of into guitar and uh, he'd like do these kind of ripping solos and I'd be like, if one day I could do that, that would be the dream. Sort of straight away was quite into kind of finger picking stuff and because I did I um, couldn't really rip an electric guitar at home that much so I had to like I was kind of more into the acoustic stuff and uh, so yeah I remember learning kind of Bob Dylan finger picked so songs and um, then kind of getting more into kind of more old blues stuff and like country stuff and um, just yeah getting really into finger picking and kind of starting to write my own songs. first things that I was really liked the sound of was like when when people would would have a like a like a bass going back and forth kind of thing and then you could play and I remember having I had a Doc Watson record who um, was like a, a guitar player I really liked and he on it he sort of slowed it down and showed that like he was going like just back and forth with like the palm muting and that was a uh, and then he was like put in uh and I remember just kind of being like oh I can see what he's doing with his thumb there and then I can see what he's doing with his his other two fingers and uh just having that sort of broken down so I just spend a lot like ages trying to get the the alternating bass going back and forth and then try and fit in the melody around that. I kind of realised after a while that that was sort of like how loads of things were played was just like getting trying to get the thumb steady and then play sort of melodies around that. And um, see, so yeah, that was a big thing for me, sort of realising that like, oh, it's all kind of like, if you can keep your thumb steady, then you can sort of do whatever you want. <laughs> Thank you. 
actually a good bit of it is played in standard tuning, which for me was kind of hadn't really done too much playing in standard. Um, had always kind of left the guitars just sort of lying around in in open tunings, but uh, so it was kind of an, a cool challenge to actually get familiar with standard tuning a bit better. Um, there are a couple of the were a couple of the songs on on it that are in a sort of a G tuning, which is like D, G, D, G, B, and E. So you just leave the high string up on a on an E. Which is kind of good for um, that way. You can still kind of play more melodic bits as if it was in standard tuning, yeah. kind of a thing. And uh, so it's kind of got a nice like sort of like not too. Um, yeah, you know, it's kind of got like a little bit of an open ended kind of a thing about the. And that's the song. The song that I played last year way is is in that tuning. The. So it's yeah, it's kind of like has a has some of the aspects of of standard of standard tuning that I like, but you can still have that kind of uh, low note kind of ringing out, and it's nice for and I, I like playing on electric with that tuning a lot as well, because it's got a bit more. Yeah, it's just like very good melodically, but still can have like the low note ringing out. The way that I write songs is sometimes kind of uh, more you know, hearing a melody kind of a thing. And I often find that those melodies can be sort of the strongest, the ones that you can get stuck into in your head before you ever play the guitar. But then sometimes I'll I'll write something on the guitar and then kind of work a melody around what I'm playing. Um kind of goes both ways. I uh and in terms of waiting for an ins waiting for inspiration or kind of, uh, you know, working on it. I think you kind of have to do a little bit of both. Um, there's a, a phrase that I think is quite good, which is that inspiration exists, but it has to find you working. So, I, and I think it is kind of true that you, sometimes you can just get like a really good song pop into your head and, you know, it doesn't take much, you know, it doesn't take much work on it. But, you know, you have to be kind of, you have to listen to that when it happens, sort of a thing. And you have to kind of like go with it. And then other times you can, you know, be sitting there playing an instrument for hours and nothing really good will come up. So it's kind of a, it's a little bit of a dark art in a way. You know, you kind of have to just uh, take your opportunities when you get them, I think. Mm -hmm. 